Um, hello YouTube. Um, I've seen a lot of users post videos um, claiming that they found the theory of everything. Um, well, uh, this is my response to them because um, they've not because um, I've found it recently and in this video I'd like to explain to you um, what what exactly it is. Um, the first, the first thing is that um, you have to consider time as being a lot more like space. <coughs> um, uh, we all know that sort of space has got three dimensions: you know, up, um, left, forward. Um, but we all think that time has only got one dimension. But, but really, there's actually two. Um, the reason why it's not exactly like space is... <coughs> sorry, I uh, choked on a biscuit earlier. Um, the reason why it's not exactly like space is uh, quite complicated, and only I can know. Um, what, I, what I've got here is a picture of a crab. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and I've drawn that because, if, if you think about it, that's what what you and I are like, really, because crabs only, they only move sideways, they only move in one dimension, um, you know, it's a lot that's sort of like, they're sort of, they're trapped in this one dimension, and that's how humans are like, you know, in time, so if I've drawn here, I don't know, crab time, um, so you and I are just like crabs, but, but in time, um, so I'm going to add this other this other time dimension to our diagram. Bear with me. Secure that. Um, so that's that's what real real time looks like, and what my theory says is that matter is just time that's been twisted up um, and it's kind of bound by certain energy constraints which um, only, again, only I know um, but, I mean, I, I call it um, hyperspace spinal tensor fields um, you can look that up uh, I had to put this jumper on to cover up the stain from where I just dropped a muller yogurt on myself. That explains this. Um, where was I? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you were wondering where all of this links into CERN, the Higgs boson, um, Brian Cox's formative years in the band D-Ream, and other such things. Um, well, basically, my theory suggests that the Higgs boson is actually sort of everything. Everything gives mass to everything else. And everything else is just warped crab time, um, which traps light and never lets it go.